Airdrop Hero. This is a fighting game set in an ancient past where you can choose between 13 characters to battle, each with unique combos. The graphics are impressive considering the small fight size and the sound is also good. The game offers an interface that is really easy to navigate along with simple controls and smooth gameplay. One notable feature is that you can earn XRPL airdrop, also known as XRPL tokens and NFT rewards by doing the challenges in this game. So if you enjoy playing games with the opportunity to earn real profit, then this game might capture your interest. Otherwise, it's a great game for time killing. Gladiator Glory Duel Arena As the title suggests, you follow a gladiator on a trip to Egypt. There are two modes in this game, PvP and PvE modes. PvE allowing players to explore the ancient Egypt and face different challenges against AI opponents in a variety of arenas. And PvP where you get engaged in 1v1 duels against other players from around the world. Furthermore, you can train your gladiator Choose the equipment as well as upgrade them with the rewards earned from every winning battle. The gameplay is really smooth and the controls are very easy to get into. Not to mention the fact that the game isn't pay to win. Overall, this is a great choice for anyone who likes gladiator games. Square Fist This is a boxing game with simple graphics as well as gameplay. The story mode is straightforward. You create your fighter and you must train and fight until you become the champions across the world. Besides that, you can also join underground fight class in both story mode and king of the club mode where you must survive and defeat as many opponents as possible. In addition, there is a quick fight mode where you can freely choose the boxer as well as the venues. The controls are fairly simple and there's an interesting feature where you must dodge the items thrown by the audience. Overall, it's a great game with great replayability. Clash of Fighters I wonder why the game in Google Play is karate fighter kung fu games. Anyway, there are 26 characters, most of which are varieties of famous franchise such as King Kong wearing Spider-Man suit, Jin from Tekken series as Liam, and etc. The graphics and gameplay are ok and the controls are responsive. There are several modes, career mode where you play two levels with increased difficulty, knockout mode which is basically Mortal Kombat Towers, arcade which is quick fight, multiplayer and training mode. You can also do fatality, friendship, babality and animality similar to Mortal Kombat Phoenix. The game is filled with annoying ads, but the grinding is pretty easy, so there's no need to watch ads for rewards. I would recommend turning off Wi-Fi for grinding and unlocking characters. Tom and Jerry in War of the Whiskers War of the Whiskers is a fighting game based on the famous cartoon. The game features 11 characters including familiar ones and surprisingly Eagle and Lion who have only appeared in several episodes. Players can select between a variety of interactive stages filled with objects that can be used as weapons along with hazards that players must avoid. The game has several modes including challenge mode where you can choose your favorite character and face 5 battles against AI opponents. Melee, which is free for all, team and tech team. The graphics are great, characters are lively along with funny sound effects, all of which adapt greatly of the beloved franchise. Overall, it's a fun game and you will need an emulator for this game though, which is Dolphin Emulator. FIE Swordplay Officially supported by the International Fencing Federation, 
FIE Superplay is the first mobile game that is very accurate to actual sport with the real rules and techniques that are more than enough to give you insight into what fencing is about. The game features simple controls but tricky to master along with realistic 3D graphics and animations. The customization is very deep with a variety of equipment and upgrades but there are also a lot of strategies, mind gaming and a variety of different techniques to learn and master. If you are interested in other sport fighting games rather than hand-to-hand -hand combat, then this game is for you. Gladi Hoppers Gladi Hoppers is a 2D physics battle simulator game that leaves a unique gameplay experience compared to other Gladiator mobile games. The controls are simple and the combat system features two battle stands that can be switched during the match, each with different attacks that allow for more dynamic battles. There are over 100 pieces of equipment to customize your gladiators, including weapons and armor for each party part. In addition, the game features several modes, including career mode, Spartator score, which is a strategy mode with factions enemies and towns to conquer. Say the Emperor, which is an endless mode, and quick fight. Overall, it's a fun game with unique looking graphics. Warriors of the Universe Warriors of the Universe features a roster of 9 characters, all of which are inspired by well-known franchises including DC, Dragon Ball, Bleach, and Naruto. But one of the most unique features in great characters where you can create your own characters with a huge variety of items, effects, and movesets, all of which can be obtained for free. And you can also use your great characters to fight against other players who might also use their characters against you. In addition, the game offers a variety of modes in single player as well as online mode. Overall, it's a fun game with its same replayability. Rumble Arena If you like Super Smash Bros., this game is for you. Rumble Arena is a platform fighter game with a cast of characters that can be found in various myths and legends such as Gu, Song Gu Kong, Thor, Athena, etc. The gameplay takes heavy inspiration from Smash City 4 as all characters have combos that can deal massive damage. One interesting feature is the talent tree, which allows players to upgrade and unlock special abilities for each character, enhancing their true potential. Currently, there are three modes, story mode, rank, and friendly battle. While the game doesn't have many players, there is a dedicated Discord community where you can discuss as well as five players to play with. Bloody Roar 2 The New Breed This game is one of the classic games of the 90s era and in my opinion the best one. So in this game you control characters who have the ability to transform into animals during combat. The character in the animal form will become more powerful as well as get new movesets. There are 11 characters, each with a unique animal form, moveset, and special abilities. In addition, the game features a variety of modes, including arcade, survival, watch mode where you watch two AI-controlled characters fighting each other, and custom mode, which in my opinion is the most unique mode, with plenty of options to mess around with. The graphics are stunning and the gameplay is smooth. And yes, you will also need an emulator for this game, which is EPSXE. I put the app link as well as the ROMs in the description. So if you don't know how to install, please leave a comment and I will try to help you out. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this game as much as I did. Thanks for watching.